Hello and welcome to this training class from Core Funding on how to use the Joomla Content Management System front end to post content. In order to post content using the native functionality, the first thing you do is log in using a username and password that has the permissions necessary to post content. After logging in, what you will see somewhere on the site on a menu is going to be a link to the front end tool for submission of content via Joomla. So if I scroll down I see the staff menu here and then what I see is the link here to actually submit an article. When I click on submit an article it then brings up the submit article window. So what we're going to look at is the steps I would go through to actually create a new entry for daily readings of the Orthodox Church. So what I could do is it, under the title I can put daily readings and then I can give it a uh, let's say February okay, 15th okay, 2010. Then what I would do now is I could come down here and I could give it some text uh, for example daily readings February 15th, 2010. I can make that text anything. But let's say I could make it say click here for the daily reading file. I could make it say anything I want. But regardless, whatever text I'm going to use, after I get done with that text, then what I will do is I will select the text. I will come here to a link, insert edit link, and then I will actually put in a link, in this case, directly to an MP3 file. So I would actually specify that file www.myocn.net and then I would complete the actual link to that file. That will give me a file that when people click on it it would actually play in one of the browser plugins. So when I'm done completing that I actually click OK. Then I can come down below it and I could actually give it the daily readings for example the daily readings such as First John or whatever other biblical text I would like to put there. Now if I would like more information to be available after a read more jump, then what I would do is I'll simply put my uh, put my cursor where I would like the read more to occur and then I can just do click this item here which says insert read more. Then I can complete the rest of the information. When I come down I give it a section. In the case of the daily readings the section is news the category is daily readings. I can choose whether it's published or not. Now if I plan to schedule publication then I need to make it published. Let me repeat that. This is the number one problem that users submitting content from the front end of a Joomla site have. They think I'm going to publish it in the future so I should set it to not published. That will mean that when the publication date which we're about to set comes this will still not show up. You will publish it, yes, publish yes, and you will either show it on the front page or not. In this case, we are not. And then you come here and you select when you would like this article to start publishing. It will default to today's date. You can go ahead and select the calendar. Choose, let's say, these are the daily readings for the 15th. So we want to have it 2010-02-15. And then what we can do is we can set it using 24 hour time we'll go ahead and set it to begin publishing at midnight again that is 24 hour time so take the time and add 12 hours to it so 0000, 000, 000 is exactly midnight what I have set is that it is published and it will begin publishing on 2-15-2010 at midnight okay Finish publishing, what we'll do is we can go ahead and set it to finish publishing on 2-15-2010 and let's say we want that to actually stop publishing at one minute to midnight so we would set that to 23 59 okay, and 59 seconds. Okay again 24 hour time so 2010, 2 15 at 11.59 and 59 seconds, this will stop publishing. I can then give it any 
meta description and keywords that I would like to give it. And after I have given it that information, I can simply click Save. And it is going to update, take that information, and move back to the menu. And then I can just continue to do that for all of my articles that I'm going to save. This has been a training class on how to use the Joomla Content Management System to post a piece of content from the front end. Thank you very much.